aware of my empathic capacity for it's years now. Several, few, few to several. And it's not just the stones. I've also fluoride. I've gotten away from fluoride. I don't brush my teeth with toothpaste. Honestly, I don't have them. My teeth aren't going to be pressing the shit out of anybody anytime soon, but the point is not the teeth, it's no fluoride. Fluoride is no bueno. I think the further I get from having used fluoride on the regular, the stronger my capacities are getting. It's the same. The timeline is similar. Not in experiencing stones compared with fluoride absence. We've only been without fluoride now for three years. I've had the stones for a long time. Especially the one with the lone wolf. Oh, I've had that one for almost, I've had that one for 10 years. I've been interacting with that one for a long time. I got that one just after destroying the stone I had had for the, my initial stone. My, I destroyed it. So that was part of the thing. I, and now that I know what I do, I had to destroy that stone. I did. Nobody probably has it unless somebody went through the garbage and found it because I know that I threw it away. And if somebody happened to find it, they said, oh, that's neat. Then, cool, good on them. They, they found it. But I had to, that stone, I'd like to still have it. It's almost, I expect to. Of the stones that I've broken, I've broken all but one. All the breaks have been inadvertent, but that one. I smashed that thing with, I think I, I think I smashed it with a piece of steel from a, from a dumbbell. And I was facing some tribulation, some hard, some, tribu- some real tribulation. You know the tribulation when you're facing homelessness. And that would have been my initial. I still hadn't, that was 10 years ago, and at that point I was still, I had only faced it, I would always had a couch, there was always something, I always had something to fall back on, but part of the, part of the journey, as a, as a, as a warrior, is you have to lose people, and evidently, I had to lose a lot of people, I've had to let go, it's, it's such a Wattsian thing, what I've, my experience. Trem- now it's, now I've got time since all my great losses. And people talk about how they, they suffer loss through death. Well, how about suffering loss through betrayal and just general two-facery? Because once I see two-facery and betrayal and shit-talkery, and once you have all that happening, people... Like, what am I supposed to do? Keep people around who aren't supporting me? When people who've made... And then other people, of course, who... All I got now is acquaintances. And new acquaintances. I have one old friend left. She's still, by choice, an acquaintance. We don't talk often. And that's the girl that gave me this piece. We talk. Very rarely. I don't even think she has my Instagram. Hell, I barely even have my Instagram. Um, I, I'll get better at self-promotion. I will. I'm just not very good at it. That's why I need an agent. Anyway, I got off topic. I wanted to talk more about empath stuff. But I did. I think I covered what I wanted to. But given that I've... I've come a long way on the path of being an empath and gotten away from fluoride and my feelings, being able to feel is stronger than ever. I have no control over that. However, you know, with that said, I'm also in a lot of pain and part, part of the theory here is that there might be a relation to the fact that my back is jacked up right now and that could be part of this. I've seen some of my readings. Back pain is quite common among empaths. 
there's, there's, and that's just, uh, I mean, I've, been, I've done a lot of reading during the Super Bowl that Denver spanked, it was in Carolina. I was in Vegas for that one, I got it right. Even on the parlay, I got that one right. I got that one right and right. During that, especially that Super Bowl, I was reading a long, long paper on it. That's when I really tuned it. That's, that's what, since I've really known is that Super Bowl, that night. Then I went to my job that night to start my work week at the worst job I've ever had in my life. That was Stateside Express in Las Vegas, on North Las Vegas Boulevard. It's I'm not complaining. I was thankful to have it. It got me out of the tribulation then. It was really, literally the worst job I've ever had. Imagine being threatened every single, essentially every day at different levels of magnitude, of course. But that was the job. Protect the store, protect your stuff. And earn a little check along the way. Yeah. Thank you for that. Anyway, peace and light.